Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Sinister Undead, and here I am in Dark Souls! I would spin around like an idiot, but I'm at the bonfire. Well, I'm playing now, and I'm recording, so I can leave the bonfire. Because I'm human, and people keep invading me! So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on our path of awesome! Holy shit, giant bug. That's not good for anybody. Let's go this way. Whoa! Whoa! No, giant bug. No. Eh, eh, I wanted something good. Giant bug. They're everywhere. No! Oh, yeah. Being able to wear heavy armor and still keep your agility is awesome! What? Mosquitoes. I kill you. Mosquito number two. I kill you. Alright, perfect. Now, we're gonna go up here and do some stuff up here before we go over there and do all that stuff over there. Do you see? Yes. Okay. Yeah, there is one crucial item that we need to get up here, and that is a Firekeeper Soul. The Firekeeper Souls are important. And I hate this Wheel of Doom. Uh, you have to be very, very careful on this thing, because you can die if you fall. Alright, get to the very edge. Wait to get to the very top. And then to that corner! Oh Literally, like it's 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 such a close call, it's not even funny. You can die is so easy. And then when you come back up to get your stuff, you can die again so easy and lose everything. I don't really give a fuck about my souls. I just seriously I cannot lose this humanity. Shit! No, no, no. Like seriously, if I if I lose this humanity, I'm screwed because this humanity right now for me is so important. Because I don't have any of the rings yet. I don't have any of the rings and you know stuff like that, so you know. Basically, the humanity that I have on me, that's my item discovery. And I'd like to keep it. Alright, now... You fucking bastard! No! Purple mo- Oh shit, I'm toxic! Damn it all! Die! Die, you sack-wearing asshole! Oh yeah, moss. I need to run over here. Go, 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 go! Make haste! Oh my god, man! See how quick your health just eliminates? Oh my god, no! Stop running, Estes! Ah, come back here, you little shit! Huh. Alright, perfect! Moss clump! Uh, blooming purple moss clump! Boom! Toxic effects healed! And Estes! And Estes! Again, Jesus! Alright, perfect! And we got these little suckers to deal with, and I'd rather try and kill them from up here, because they use fire, they use magic, and that wasn't enough, and now he's gonna run over here and be, oh, not nice, hello, I can hit you. Damn it. I can't hit you from this angle! It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. I cannot hit them from that angle. Alright. Oh, it's another one, you asshole. Her, you missed, I didn't. And you're dead. Purple Moss, thank you for getting in my way a message. Soul of Proud Knight, I don't care. I need to go over here and get down this ladder and go all the way around, grab that thing, and then we go all the way back. That sounds so exciting, right? Like, so super duper exciting. Climb down. You dicks. See, they're waiting for me. They're staring at the ladder. He's got to come down sometime. All right, dickwad. And you've been vanquished. And you too. You're over there. Wow! Seriously? Leave me alone, demon dogs. Who spit fire. You're bad. I'll shoot you. 
Yeah, attack me straight on, asshole. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Swing. And you're done. Fuck me. You die. Leave me the hell alone. Firekeeper soul. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm not going to risk going all the way down because if I fall, I lose all my shit and then we're screwed. So, homeward bone time. Woohoo! Look at that. And there we go. And we've got 10 Estus Flasks all over again. And we got the Firekeeper Soul, so we can upgrade our Estus Flask to plus 2, but we can't do that until we find an actual Firekeeper. The actual Firekeeper, the next one we're going to find, is way over there! You. Alright, another demon bug. No, you're bad. And bad people are going to die. Bad bug, you die now. Technically, I have a really big ass fly swatter. It is called the Black Knight Sword. Shit! I have to like maneuver my way. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. I am poisoned. Alright, now, the, what I like to do is go all the freaking way around. Because I, if, I, if I don't have to deal with those boulder guys, I'm not going to because they are a pain in the ass. So I like to get over here, and now that I'm on land, purple moss, and switch back to my Estus. All right, now, navigating this. I do not have the sleeping Bellowcrest ring. You get that from Griggs of Vinheim, but I didn't want to spend the money because I'm a cheap ass, and so I don't have it. So, instead of running with said ring, slowly walk because they can hear your footsteps and they will turn around, aggro, and try and crush you with a giant ass boulder. And they usually succeed. Holy shit. I didn't even start my timer. Are you serious? I have no... What the hell? No! I was distracted. Okay. I seriously have no idea how long this episode is going to be because I forgot to set my timer. So I guess I'll just run this for like 20 minutes. And because I've been playing about 5 minutes, so I'll run it for 20 and hope that I attack it like right around 25. I don't know. Could be short, could be long. I really don't know. Hey, what are you doing? Are you just praying? Yeah, praying to the Chaos God, you know, doing your thing. Carrying some um, children on your back. You look like a guy. Do you know that? Aww. Aww. They're no threat to me. I'll let them live. Alright. And this right here, this is the summon sign for Man Eater Mildred. And she is the character that we just defeated in the last episode. And the reason why I like to defeat her is because she helps in the battle with Quilag. And she actually holds her weight. And she actually does stuff. So. That is very good. So I'm going to go ahead and summon Maneater Mildred. And she takes her sweet ass time. And there we go, Maneater Mildred. And like I said, I still have my, uh, my, my Black Knight Sword, which does an additional 20% towards demon enemies. And we're about to fight a demon boss. So let's go. Come on, Mildred. All right. Oh, fuck you. Come on. 
Alright. The best time to attack uh, Quileg is when she does that fire attack. And then kind of back up. You really don't have to worry about her, like, swooping thing. The only real attack that she has that does damage is her area of effect attack. That you want to avoid at all costs. As well as her lava. Her lava is bad. Get in there, Mildred. Do your job. Do some work. Oh, yeah. See, we're doing some work now. Oh, look out. Excuse me, Mildred. I need to get by. Mildred, could you please aggro Quileg? Thank you. Now I can heal. And now beat the shit out of her because she just did her lava attack. Yep, when she does her lava attack, just avoid her. And then as, as soon as she does it, she stands still, run up to her, beat the hell out of her. Mildred works as a great distraction, too. Oh, 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 oh. And there's the fire sword. Just keep backing up with your shield up. She usually doesn't hit you. And Mildred is trapped behind lava. She's such a genius. Yeah, just keep avoiding the strikes and wait for her to shoot lava. Or until she aggroes on Mildred. Oh, I missed her area of effect attack. Shit, but it didn't do dick. Usually it does a lot more damage. Oh, 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 oh. That right there is the area of effect attack. Okay. S this just in case. She's almost dead. And Mildred finished her off. Soul of Quilag. Victory achieved. Twin Humanities. And there goes Mildred, fading away. Alright, Quileg is out of the way. First time. That was seriously easy as shit. Maneater Mildred makes all the difference. And I mean, it's all as simple as memorizing her attack patterns and all that other bullshit. Like, when she swings her sword, just block and back up. As soon as she does her lava attack, that's your opportunity to run in and get a couple hits in. When her body goes limp, like her human body, when it goes limp, that's when she's preparing to do her area of effect attack, just get some distance, and basically just repeat that, you know, as soon as she does her lava, run up and hit her, and then uh, definitely use Maneater Mildred to your advantage as much as possible, because like I said, she does hold her own weight, and she kicks a lot of ass, so, that's pretty good, but Quileg is done, and now we have a lever to pull, ooh, we succeed in the boss battle, so now we get to hit the button? the second bell. We have rang the bell in Quileg's domain, and therefore we have rang both the bells, and now the gates to Sen's fortress are open! Which is really freaking awesome! Sen's fortress, though, is such a colossal pain in the ass. I hate Sen's fortress more than I hate Blighttown. Blighttown really is not that bad. Sen's fortress is my ultimate nightmare. Okay. At the bottom right here, where, uh, where you ring the bell, there's a secret passageway over here. Skidoosh. And look at that. The pathway is open. And this guy, I thought he was an enemy. I killed him before. Don't do that. He's an NPC. Talk to him. Have a friendly conversation. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Yes. Please. It's 
You have no eggs. Ha, no matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. And what he means by, but you have no eggs, is you can be infested by one of those guys and be an egg carrier. The egg is on your head, and it works as a helmet. It's pretty cool. And uh, the only real purpose of that is having an egg as a helmet type thing, and then if you're infected by the egg, then you, um, you unlock uh, more options to buy things from him. What is it? No one? Because he'll actually sell you pyromancies and items and stuff. Uh, here's our bonfire. Yes. And we actually have enough souls to level up. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go for resistance. I need to build up some resistance. Resistance is important. It's all about defense. Perfect. Perfect. All right, and this right here. Yeah, she doesn't talk. She doesn't talk at all. But yeah, this is Queen Leg's sister. And... Even though Quileg was evil and tried to kill us on sight, Quileg's sister is kind of calm and content and... Not really bad to look at. Via the top half. Dear God, what the fuck is wrong with the bottom half? Rah! Okay, either way. The, uh... The Firekeeper Soul that we got earlier in Blight Town, we can use her to reinforce the SS Flask. Yes. Alright, now we have SS Flask plus two. And then I just want, I'm not joining any covenants right now. I just want to get the option up so that it pops as the achievement, you know, blah, blah, blah. My notifications are off, so it won't. But yeah, this is the Chaos Covenant. And it's the most badass covenant in all of Dark Souls, I think, personally. I don't know why I like it. I just like the fact of being her servant and bringing her humanity to heal her. I'm nice. But no. All right. All done with that. And joining her covenant is actually very important because it opens up the secret passway, passageway, which allows you to save Knight Solaire because nobody wants Knight Solaire to die. Knight Solaire is awesome, and he also wants your body. That's really weird. But still, he's awesome! Can't let him die. And he is an asset in the fight with Gwyn. So, uh, yeah. Oakley doggly. Now, let's see here. What am I at? 10 minutes, not bad. So I'm at like 15, I guess. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's run over here. Uh, this is the pathway into the demon ruins. Or, yeah, demon ruins. I was right. Another bonfire right here. Bonfire lit, skidoosh. Rest of this bonfire. Why did my frame rate just drop? What the hell? Okay, frame rate's fine. Everything's fine. And there's that bastard over there. That's a boss, the ceaseless discharge. He is not nice. He is not nice at all. Man, look at all this shit. There's just stuff everywhere. Oakley doakley. Well, let's go ahead and run this way. No, leave me alone, egg carrier guy thing. I don't like you. You're not my friend. Ugh. All right. Running, 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 and running. So many places to go. So little time. And defeating the, uh, the ceaseless. Uh, defeating the ceaseless discharge. Is uh, it's not really important right now because defeating him simply lowers the lava, the lava levels, and then that allows you to get over there and down there. And there's stuff over there. You can't even get into the main area until you get the Lord Vessel, which opens up that gate. But you can still fight Ceaseless Discharge because on your first playthrough, ugh, sorry about that. On your first playthrough, defeating him is super easy. Yes, he is very intimidating. Yes, he is very strong in normal combat. However, there is a loophole that makes him seriously laughable. But it only works on your first new game. New Game Plus, Plus Plus, all that other shit. This will not work. 
I've never tried it on PC. I hope I swear to god I hope it works on PC. If it doesn't work on PC, I'm boned. <laughs> For this playthrough. Alright, what we need to do is we need to aggro this asshole. How far back can I get? I want to be as far back as freaking possible. Perfect. Now we're gonna aggro him. Come on. Come on! Why? Take it! I want to piss you off! Come on! Oh, he's bad! Okay, we go. Run away! Alright, equip your sword, because you're going to need it. Haul ass back to the white light gate. Literally. Run and don't stop for shit. Alright, let your stamina recharge. Keep an eye on him in case he swings his hand. Run far away! Oh, man. That's not good. Alright. Now he's gonna walk. Shit balls. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom. Boom. Come on, ceaseless discharge. Shit! No. Now run! And attack! Oh, wait. No, no! Turn! Why isn't the method working? Oh, fuck me! It doesn't work! It doesn't work on PC! Oh, shit! And I have no weird... Uh... Shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No, I'm not. Okay. Come back further! So dead. I am so freaking dead. I can't believe this does not work on PC. That's kind of lame. Well, I figured that out. Yeah, the only reason I even attempted to uh, do that boss battle is because I thought that it would work on PC. Because it works on Xbox. Only on your new game. You run the ceaseless discharge to the edge, you whack his hand a few times, and he falls into the pit of lava and dies. However, apparently that doesn't work on PC. It works on Xbox 360, not on PC. I just found that out. And I am nowhere near strong enough to fight the ceaseless discharge. The regular way. There are a many great items that I need to fight him, and I don't have any of them, so... Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> You're probably like, why are you going back? Why is it way the fuck over there? I died way over here. But yeah, you're like, why? You're probably like, why, is, why are you going back if you can't fight him? It's quite simple. I'm gonna go grab my shit. Hey, look, I got all my humanity and souls back. I'm gonna use a homeward bone. And run like a bitch! Because there, there's no way I can beat him, like, regularly right now with my current stats and equipment. There's other stuff that I need. 
<clears throat> oh, hey, I'm not, uh... What's the word? I'm not human anymore. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Either way, well, uh, in spite of that, considering the ceaseless discharge trick doesn't work on PC, I need to go all the way back up to the top. That is just awesome. Well, hey, at least I, uh, whoa, no. There we go. I need to get my Estus, just in case. Because this bonfire is already enkindled another plus five, so it's plus ten. Yay. And ten. All right. Yeah. That kind of sucks that the ceaseless discharge trick doesn't work on PC. Because usually I, usually I, uh, well, on my first playthrough, I just ran through and killed him right after Quilag. But I can't do that on this one. I'm going to have to actually fight him legitimately. I mean, I, I fought him legitimately countless times on New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus and New Game Plus Plus Plus. I've done it a shitload anyways. It won't be any different on this. However, I need the proper equipment. I must get stronger. I must get stronger and more powerful. But there's a lot that I can do before I even have to go and worry about the ceaseless discharge. I haven't even finished Sen's Fortress yet. And that's going to be so much fun. Fun! I'm really not looking forward to Sense Fortress at all. That's what I get though. You know, like, I kicked Quileg's ass, and then Ceaseless Discharge just. I, I didn't do dick for damage to him. I mean, I didn't do anything. I really didn't do shit. Oh, I gotta go ninja. I gotta go full ninja, because these guys are out here and they will screw my day up. I don't want to have to deal with them. Please let me go under this thing. Thank you. Right, I'm at 20 minutes, so I'm at like 25. Now run like no other. I'm poisoned, oh shit. And you die. Hey look, an item. I don't know what it is, but I want it because I want everything. Large Titanite Shard, that comes in handy. Not right now, but later. Gotta love that Titanite. Titanite is so awesome! Shit. Aww. You see nothing. Alright, you die. You die! Alright, I'm gonna hit this bonfire. Alright! I'm gonna cut this part here because that's the end, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record my ascent back up to the top and all that crap. I'm probably just gonna make my way to Firelink Shrine and then start from there. Like I start like every part so far. Like the past like five parts I started from Firelink Shrine, but actually, yeah, Firelink Shrine works because that's a direct route to where I gotta go. Unless I actually pass through that way on my way, yada yada yada. So next time I start this stuff. I will be at Sen's Fortress. Or I might go take on the Hydra. I don't know. There's so many options. So many decisions. Either way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, until next time.